Hi, my name is Mike. In today's video, I'm calling it Fear Him That Can Kill Both Body and Soul in Hell. Um, that's taken from Matthew 10, 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Uh, we have only two destinations when we die, heaven or hell. Many believe when they die, they will automatically go to heaven. This is not the case. Without faith in Jesus Christ and repentance from sin and turning away from sin, you will not enter the gates of heaven. Acts 2.38 Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptised, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of of the Holy Spirit. Also John 14, 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. Only through Jesus Christ, no one else. Also John 10, 7. Then Jesus said unto them again, Very, very I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. So he's the doorway to heaven. We should not fear man, what man can do to us, whether it's persecution, trials, tribulations, or even martyrdom. Stand fast and do not deny the Lord Jesus, even if threatened with death. Matthew 10, 33. But whoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Jesus had warned about a great falling away at um, Matthew. Also, it speaks about that in 2 Thessalonians 1, 3. Let me just read um, Matthew 24. I'll read from um, verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Then many shall be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And if we read Second Thessalonians uh, 1 to 3. Second so Thessalonians 1 to 3. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that you should not soon be shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as at the day of Christ at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day, what day, the day of the Lord and our gathering together unto him, shall not come unless there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Other translations say a rebellion comes first, or another translation say apostasy comes first. Apostasy means abandonment, um, a renunciation of a religious or political belief, publicly rejecting one's belief. So as Christians, we must stand strong in Jesus Christ, and whatever comes our way, be ready to die for our faith if need be. Matthew 16, 25. For whoever will save his life shall lose it, and whoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. I know some Christians out there are going to say, well, oh, we don't have to worry about that. We'll be gone before anything happens. That's what the Bible warns us about, a great falling away. These are the ones, Christians, that think they're going to go before anything happens. Remember, Jesus is only going to come for a bride without spot or wrinkle. And that won't come unless there's persecution and refinement through fires of affliction. So don't fear him that can only kill the body, but fear God who can kill both body and soul in hell. Remember, like I said, we have two paths. One, everlasting life with God in heaven or damnation in hell everlasting death so choose God and choose life 
Um, I'll let me just finish off with a couple of scriptures. First one being Romans six twenty three. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. John seventeen three. And this is a life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. And also, 1 John 2, 17. And the world pass away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abide forever. And um, Matthew 7, 13 to 14. Enter ye in the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that lead to destruction, and many there which go therein, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which lead unto life, and few there is that find it. Anyway, I'll leave it there and say anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so in prayer repentance. God bless you all. Bye bye.